starting off the day with a package. What could be in here? What's heavy? Oh, I know what this is. It's baby water! Yes, I like baby water! You do? It's water specifically for babies! Baby water! So what's different? Baby water. It's just marketed differently. It's just distilled water, but this is what everyone told me to get online. They said get baby water, because then you know where I kind of want it. Baby water for their bottles. These are older packages. It's an older one. Yeah, I got a special one. Oh, this is for What could it be? It's a spaceman helmet. Oh. Cool. Let's do it. Ready? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what do you think? That is cool, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. And these go up, see? So you can put the helmet on all the way, and then you stick your hand here, and you pull down the shades. That. Cool. You like it? Yeah. That's pretty sweet, dude. Yeah, it is. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> really cool. That is for the babies. I think it's I didn't get so my package. Cool. A shirt for him, which he's had before, but yeah, I got this. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. You like it, Flynn? Yeah. For Flynn, a teenage. Oh, my favorite as a kid. But it's a cutoff shirt. Show off his his huge guns. He's got muscles. Flynn, <laughs> you look so cool. Yeah, it's a Are you going to outer space? It is a zoopy zoopy. <laughs> what does a zoopy zoopies? Does it look good on me? It looks amazing on you. Oh, this is a good one. Nice. What? It says, my dad is dope. <laughs> is your dad dope? No. <laughs> your dad is dope. She got burns. <laughs> I like your helmet, Flynn. It looks really good on you. <laughs> Loves it. That's pretty cool. Munch, 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 les fell. We got more packages. It looks like it's exactly the same time, but it's not later. I got some high socks for the babies because I got them a bunch of like onesies that are long sleeve, but they don't have pants on them. I thought I could keep it in that little thigh high. Teething toy. They're not quite teething yet, although it looks like Wesley is. He's not. We got all these. It's a little giraffe and a little orange, a little orange, a little banana toothbrush, a little strawberry. Cute. Whoa, I just ninja caught a bug. Oh, I'm excited for this. Little bunny outfits for them for Easter. This is just a little cute little bunny with a little bunny hat. That's so cute. And I got her one in pink. She's a girl, and girls have to wear pink. I'm joking. And little tiny socks, because I don't know. I feel like they just needed more socks. And that's all she wrote, folks. Oh, whoa! Look at that big. Whoa! That's a big hot cover. Whoa! Whoa, he landed in the pool. Whoa. He's swimming. Maybe we should rescue him? Hope we're rescuing him. Oh. Oh. Letting him out. Go, say bye bye, grasshopper. Bye bye. Grasshopper. bye, -bye so thanks for playing with me. Thanks for playing with me. Mama, what? I'm sad about I want to keep them. I know. I'm sad when I have to say goodbye to my friends too. But he needs to go home to his mommy and daddy. Mm -hmm. His bugs don't live inside houses, they live outside. But it was nice of him to come say hi and play with us, huh? So today we went to the craft store to get stuff to make a leprechaun trap for St. Patrick's Day and Flynn picked out this green shirt because we said that leprechauns like green things and they like the rainbow. And he's like, oh, we gotta get this green shirt. So since it's just a plain lime green shirt, I thought it'd be fun to get some green tie-dye that's like a deeper green and tie-dye a swirl on the shirt. What do you think? Not a great idea? Yeah. That could hold it. That could hold it. I'm gonna open it up. All right, so Ooh. got some rubber bands here, Flynn. And Flynn's eating the packaging. I'm just gonna twist this little shirt. I feel like I always think tie dyes are gonna be a good idea. And I always think it's gonna look great, and then I'm always wrong. <laughs> I've got a glove. Um, no, I've got a circle you. shirt. 
Flynn was interested and now he's not, so he's uh, currently a dog. Do you wanna help me? Um, no, thank you. It's squirty time. Look, Flynn, I'm squirting. Now Daddy's doing the squirts. She doesn't wanna go on the collar. I know, she's being difficult. Tie dye. Okay, I feel like it's soaked long enough. I just wanna open it and see it, so I'm just too impatient. The moment of truth. Let's see how it looks. I mean, obviously I have to wash it still, but. Oh my God, it looks freaking cool. Guys, should I open an Etsy shop? <laughs> that looks so good. I'm an artist. Like, I'm obsessed with this, oh my God. Okay, so there's this TikToker, Michaela, who like, does makeup and I like, love her. Even though I don't know anything about makeup, I like love watching her. She just seems like the sweetest, most genuine person in the world. Anyway, I've been looking for a new mascara because I don't like the mascara that I use. And she did a video, a TikTok, where she talked about this mascara from MAC, which I never really buy makeup from MAC that often anymore, but MAC uh, Stack is what it's called. So I'm gonna test it right now. I have to take off my mascara. So this is what my mascara currently looks like. So I'm gonna take off on one eye. So you can and see the difference. This is after a day of wear though, so I feel like it's not gonna be a good judge. Anyway, I'm gonna do this and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I'm looking mess, but this eye does not have any mascara on anymore. Like, I know you're not supposed to pull in your eyelashes, but literally nothing. And this side has my leftover mascara, which I'm wearing Sky High Maybelline. I don't know, but I also sometimes use the Better Sex Mascara. Anyway, okay. So apparently this is like buildable. So like you can keep putting on layers and like it like is amazing. I don't know. I hope I like it because I never like any mascaras. Okay, that's one coat. I mean, I'm just gonna say this coat is fresh. It looks better, but it's like barely better. And this has been on all day. This is fresh. I think you're supposed to let it dry before adding another layer. Okay, so I have two coats on. It's definitely good, however, it says it doesn't clump, but I feel like it's kind of clumpy. I don't know, I don't like when uh, mascara makes all of your lashes like stick together, do you know what I mean? So it makes it look like you have fewer lashes, but they look thicker. It looks way better than what I usually use, I think. Like it's like noticeably way better. Like I'm definitely gonna be using this one, but I'm curious how long it lasts. And I'm curious if it's waterproof. I don't think it is. And I I have very wet eyes. So I'm wondering if like within an hour, the mascara is gonna be all over my eyelid and all underneath my eyes because my eyes are always leaking. No one asked. Anyway, I like it. I do like it. I think it looks way better than this. Max Hack, I don't know. I'll let you know how I feel after wearing it for a couple days, but I was excited to try a new mascara. It's the little things in life. Some people go on crazy vacations. Some people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to see who will get out of the pool first. I don't know. What do people do on YouTube anymore? I don't even know. I test mascara mascara and see if I like it. And I know nothing about makeup, but I am excited to see if I like this. I don't know, I feel like I look like a spider. I kind of am living for like the dark circles around my eyes because it kind of looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow. It's not eyeshadow, guys. It's just dark circles. Growth spurt or something. 
I'm coming. So he just wants more food or something, but I don't know, I can't get him to stay asleep. I still have so much work to do. I don't talk, I'm not even talking like work work. Like I'm talking like I need to make their bottles and like we're going to like a zoo park thing tomorrow and I need to pack their diaper bag and Flynn's bag and I'm gonna try to feed him, I'll be back. Okay, so yeah, he was hungry. He's still awake, but he's at least chilled out. The little guy, he's been awake most of the day, like playing and like really happy and laughing as you just saw and like clip. This was kind of weird to me that he all of a sudden was like awake and not happy, but I think he's just growing and needing more milk. So tomorrow I'm going to a little like wildlife rehabilitation center with Eric's family and we're hopefully gonna feed a giraffe. Um, I actually did this the day I found out I was, or no, no, not the day I found out. Yes, it was the day I found out I was pregnant with the twins. It was the last time I was at this place and I had an inkling I could have maybe been pregnant. I didn't think I was because I had just taken a test the day before and it was negative. But I had an inkling I was pregnant because when we were there, I, the smells of the animals was like making me feel sick. I was like, oh, these animals freaking stink. But I was like, maybe it's just because they're wild animals and wild animals stink. But I know that like, are there a certain type of foxes that let off a scent that smells like skunk? And it was so strong the whole time we were there. I was like, oh, that skunk smells so bad. And Eric's like, it's not that bad. And I was like, it's so bad. Um, so then we got home from there and I took a test and I found out I was pregnant with the twins. Um, so that was the last time I was there. So we're going out tomorrow and it's gonna be fun. So yeah, I have to import footage. I really wanted to edit another main channel video tonight, but that's not gonna happen. I have a bunch of emails to respond to. I have to pump still before I go to bed. I'm making all their bottles right now for the night. I was thinking about, I just took a shower and I was thinking about how I am really am so excited to write the live show and like Corey and I've already started working on it, like a little bit here and there. And I think it's gonna be so fun. And I just wish I had a little bit more time on my hands so that I could like really focus on that and make the show amazing. Um, I'm gonna focus on finishing this and I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, I finished making bottles. Yes, I'm in a nursing prom. I saw someone comment on my blog that I posted yesterday. Colleen's so brave for showing her diapers. <laughs> Most people would hide that and never tell anybody, but she just talks about it. <laughs> I'm like, I think that was a diss, but like, I'll take it. You know, if you wear diapers when you have like a really, really heavy flow, like, okay, anyway, I'm not talking about that again. It was one time, no shade or shame. Um, So why did I say that? Oh my God. So I wanted to talk about something. I'll probably talk about this more in depth another, in another vlog because I'm very tired and I need to go, but I just wanted to bring it up because I'm pretty sad. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed in myself. A lot of you guys ask about my dermatillomania and if it's getting better or worse or how it's been and it got a lot better when I was pregnant. And then um, it started coming back since I've had the babies a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. Tonight it got pretty bad. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Cause I haven't had that feeling of being disappointed in myself with dermatillomania in a very long time. And literally tonight I had like an episode with it and then um, kind of like not blacked out. I don't black out, but like I get really focused and intense. If you wanna know what I'm talking about, you can watch my main channel video I made on dermatillomania like over a year ago where I kind of explain what happens when I get like have an episode or whatever. So I have probably the worst one I've had and since I was pregnant when I like snapped out of it and stopped, I realized so like I had kind of destroyed my foot and I was limping and I haven't limped from it in such a long time. And I literally go, oh, out loud I said, oh, I hate myself. You're so stupid. Like I like started beating myself up. I'm just bummed, man. I don't want to cry about it right now. So I'll wait till another day for that. I'm, I have too much to do to cry right now. I'm super disappointed that it's coming back so strong. I don't know. Like I said, if you want to know more about what I'm talking about, you can watch my main channel video talking about dermatillomania. But I'm just upset because I really felt like I had it under control. But with dermatillomania, trichotillomania, and like other types of disorders like this, you can't get rid of it. Like you have it forever. You just learn how to manage it and um, live with it. And I thought I was doing a pretty good job. And I know that it goes up and down, but I'm just kind of sad about that. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to be limping around the wildlife center tomorrow with like Eric's family. So I'm gonna have to just like try to act like I'm not limping. <laughs> anyway, sorry to leave on a sad note, um, but I just wanted to talk about that. I don't know why, but I did. So that's all. I'm gonna try to vlog tomorrow because it's gonna be fun to be with all the animals and whatever with the kids. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow and I love you very much and thank you for all your sweet comments. The last couple days, they've been so helpful and sweet and I love you guys. I'm gonna go see you next time. Goodbye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So 
you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.